What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to take a look at this 2020 Alpine 3713 KB. Now KB stands for King Bath and from what I've heard this thing has the biggest shower in any fifth wheel. So let's go take a look at it. So today we're gonna to take a look at this Alpine 3713 KB, KB standing for King Bath, I'm assuming. So let's take a look at some of the stuff on the outside that we have here. First of all, you're gonna have your solar hookups here. So if you wanted to plug in solar to charge the batteries, that's where you would do it there. Right here, you're just gonna have your access to hydraulic fluid for the auto leveling system there, as well as where your batteries will hook up. In here, you're gonna have your storage underneath but also here, I took the panel off so you could see, you have your in-command system. Now this is pretty cool for people that don't know about the in-command system, because what this is here is all of your electrical wiring is color-coded and labeled. So you'd be surprised how many RV manufacturers just throw all white or all black cables in here, or something like that, that aren't labeled, that aren't color-coded. And this is a benefit to you for two reasons. One, because if you need to fix something yourself, it's gonna make it much easier to figure out where the problem is coming from. And two, if you need an issue solved by a technician at an RV dealership, you're gonna save money because this makes it easier for them to find where the issue's at, meaning you're spending less money on the labor for them to solve the issue. It could take a long time for them to find wiring issues if every wire is the same color, as opposed to this here where it makes it a whole lot more simple having everything color coordinated or uh, color coordinated as Keystone does here with their in-command system. So pretty sweet that Keystone does that across all their units there. Coming across here to the front. Now, when you look up top here, you're gonna have two awnings. You're gonna have your outdoor speakers here by the door. So you'll have an awning there. You have an LED light strip under the awning. You have your slide out here. Then you're gonna have a second awning up here as well with the LED light strip. So you're gonna have two awnings that cover almost probably about two thirds, a little bit more than two thirds of the length of the RV there. So lots of out, outside space to hang out in. In here, you're gonna have your pass through storage on the back side. So you're gonna have two of these compartments here. Both of those are gonna pass through to the other side. Slam latch doors on there. So nice and easy close there. Then right here, this is gonna be hard to open with one hand. Oh, I got it, look at that. Gonna have this on both sides as well. So this is just another storage compartment area here. And then around the back, you're gonna have more storage back here. Looks like we have the boxes for the TV still in here for you as well. But you're gonna have some more storage back there. And then you're gonna have an accessory hitch here. So this hitch is gonna be good for 300 pounds. So you can put something back here if you want to put bikes or anything like that, coolers, whatever you want. You could put it back there using something on that accessory hitch. You're gonna have your drains coming out right here. So everything is gonna to run to this one system here and all of your, all of your levers there to open up the tanks. So they'll drain out are all gonna be right there and they'll all run to that one spot. So pretty convenient that they all run to one spot there. And now one thing about this Alpine that's pretty sweet is they put these Oracle tires on here. Now these Oracle tires are gonna come with a six year warranty. So pretty significant there that they did that. You also have the road armor suspension there, which is gonna give you six inches of give, three inches up, three inches down. Whereas a lot of other suspension systems on RVs only give you three inches of room there. So great suspension system there that they have as well. Coming around here. This is where all your water is gonna be. So you have an outdoor shower hose there. You're gonna have, um, you have an on-demand water heater on here actually. That's something that they added to this 
uh, Alpine as well, and they added to all their 2020 and 2021 models is these uh, is the on-demand water heater. So that's gonna be awesome, giving you instant hot water all the time. And then in here is just gonna be your propane bottles. So that's what you're gonna have there. Obviously, as you would expect, you have elect the electronic auto leveling system. So super easy to set up there. I've never had the luxury of auto leveling on any RV that I've had, but doesn't mean that you shouldn't have it. And then let's get underneath here. More storage underneath here. Batteries as well. If I could get the camera to focus, that'd be awesome. Battery disconnect underneath here as well. Just more storage areas underneath here. And last thing on the outside that you're gonna have is the Road Armor pin box here so basically what this is it gives you a rubber basically like a rubber type of gasket underneath here which is going to absorb a lot of that chucking that you get um, from towing a fifth wheel so that's going to help with that a lot and obviously you know would expect that to be on any fifth wheel that's in this caliber of price and luxury that you're looking for so that completes the outside there on this alpine and then we're going to go ahead and take a step on the take a look in the inside and see what's going on in there because that's where the fun really is at. All right, so as we come in here, I zoomed out a little bit so you could see more of what's going on in here. But first of all, I want to let you know that this RV here weighs about 13,800 pounds. So that's what you're going to be looking at on the weight there. As you can see, we have a front living setup here with a retractable TV here. Behind the TV, you have a windshield. So you have a windshield back there, which does also have a night curtain to block that. But that's kind of nice that you can have the TV or the outside view there if you want. Has the DVD, CD, music, everything, all of your different speaker controls up here. So kind of nice that that's just so easily accessible right there. You don't have to bend over to reach it. And then we'll walk through some of the stuff in here, but there's some things about the Alpine that are pretty cool. Um, you have your recliner chairs here, which are gonna have your heat and massage features as well as light fixtures underneath them and then the cup holders. Um, but some things in here that are pretty cool that you don't see in every fifth wheel. One thing for instance is the slide height. So the slide room here, the height on this, I just measured it. It's about six feet, 11 inches. Now, most RVs they have in fifth wheels, they're typically around six foot five or six foot six. So you're getting about six more inches of slide room height there, which not only obviously just makes it look a little bit bigger, but it gives you bigger windows as well. And I have all of the shades down here so we can see what the lighting looks like in here, but um, you have bigger windows here. And then also here, you have your day and night shades. So you have night shade here. They're all MCD roller shades here. And then you have day shade here. So you get both of those on just about every window. I think the only window I saw that doesn't have both would be in the bathroom because there you really only need the uh, nighttime shade so that people can't look in there. But as we go through the kitchen, you're gonna see have a upgraded stove top here. It just looks really nice and elegant there. You have a big oven, and then you're going to have your convection oven and microwave combo there. Here, one thing I really like that Alpine does as well, you can see on the island kitchen. So on most of them, you see the sink here is center on the island, which means you have limited counter space on each side of the sink here. Well, Alpine, they push theirs over to the side here so that you actually get more counter space on the island, which I really like that they do that. It just makes it a little bit more convenient. When you put the sink right in the middle, it takes up counter space and isn't really conventional for what people need. You're gonna have your uh, residential refrigerator here, and then you're gonna have lots of storage all throughout here. But the best part of the storage is here in this pantry that you have. You'll see front living models that sometimes have a half bath here. Well, this one has a pantry and you can see all the storage that you have in here. And I'm sure your mind is just flooded with ideas of what this space could be used for. Um, it's a great space to store lots of different things for the kitchen, whatever you may want it to be. And you're definitely not gonna find much more storage in a fifth wheel than something that has a pantry like that. But let's go up to the main attraction here 
which is going to be the bedroom and bathroom. So in the bedroom, you have a king bed. You're going to have a nice headboard up above the king bed there. They did upgrade the mattresses on the Alpines this year. So you have a little bit nicer mattress than they had in the previous year model. And then you're going to have all your storage here as well as the TV. So you can see all that storage in there. Storage up here as well. Then it's going to be the same thing on this side. But now look at this. This here is your bathroom. We'll save the shower for last. But you're going to have double vanity here. Lots of counter space there back into the corner. So much storage space in here. I mean, look at this. This is where your washer and dryer would go. Look at how huge this area is in here. And Alpine also does a double insulated back wall here. So lots of insulation there. But so much storage super deep storage in there too you could probably fit like 12 towels in there and then this goes all the way back as well so very deep storage there medicine cabinets gonna be like your typical medicine cabinet for the most part and then this shower so this shower here is pretty much big enough to fit about three to four people if i can let's see if i can show you give you an idea of what i look like in here so if I step in here, I mean, I can full spin around. My arm is fully extended and it's not hitting any of the walls or anything like that. So, I mean, you can see I'm, I'm pretty tall. I'm 6'2". So even being 6'2", I can stand under the shower head. Okay, I guess my head is barely touching it. But I mean, to be in a fifth wheel and to have that, I mean, it's pretty remarkable. And you could easily fit multiple people in here if you're the type that, you know, wants to shower with somebody else, do your thing. This allows you to do your thing and you can have a good time so it's pretty exciting that they have something like this to offer i know so many people complain about the size of the shower and a fifth wheel and this here is going to really solve that problem if that's something that has been an issue for you so i would definitely recommend looking at this model i know i personally have not seen anything with a um, shower this big in a fifth wheel and i've been told that there isn't anything out there with a shower this big in a fifth wheel so yeah definitely the most highlighted part of this unit here is that shower there it's pretty awesome and definitely something that you should look into if shower space has been an issue for you in the past with your rv and that pretty much wraps it up this is going to be your alpine 3713 kb kb standard for king bath i forgot to show you this as well you have the in command system here so everything is gonna be controlled here. Oh, don't look at my passcode. Everything is gonna be controlled here on this unit here. And this also will connect to your phone so you can control all of this stuff from your phone. But anyways, that pretty much wraps it up. My name is Miles. I'm with Holiday World of Dallas. I hope you enjoyed this tour of this Alpine 3713 KB. I know I probably missed some stuff. If there's something that you have a question about, let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something and come visit me at Holiday World in Dallas. Y'all have fun camping.